Mount Everest is a peak in the Himalaya mountain range and it is located between Nepal and Tibet, an autonomous region of China. At 8,849 meters, it is considered the tallest point on Earth and in the 19th century, the mountain was named after George Everest, a former surveyor general of India. The first ever recorded people to climb Everest were Edmund Hillary, a mountaineer from New Zealand and his Tibetan guide Tenzing Norgay. They climbed the mountain in 1953 and hold the record together and the first records of Everest's height came much earlier, in 1856. British surveyors recorded that Everest was the tallest peak in the world in their great trigonometrical survey of the Indian subcontinent. The Himalayan mountains have long been home to indigenous groups living in the valleys and the most famous of these are the Sherpa people. The word, Sherpa, is often used to mean mountain guide, though it actually refers to an ethnic group. The Sherpa have valuable experience in mountain climbing, which they can provide to other climbers. Most climbs of Everest would be impossible without the Sherpa's logistical help and knowledge however, their way of life extends beyond helping Everest climbers. Traditionally, their lifestyle has consisted of farming, herding, and trade and, because they live at such a high altitude year-round, they are accustomed to the low oxygen levels. Climbing Mount Everest has become a popular expedition for mountain climbers, however, it is a dangerous undertaking. Climbing Everest requires a lot of experience mountaineering elsewhere, as well as a certificate of good health, equipment, and a trained Nepalese guide. The snow and ice on the mountain create deadly hazards like avalanches, and there is only a limited climbing season due to bad weather conditions. But perhaps the biggest danger is the altitude and most climbers are not accustomed to the high altitude and low oxygen levels and rely on bottled oxygen they bring along. This is why the area above 8,000 meters elevation on Everest is called the death zone. Climbers who spend long periods in this region can develop altitude sickness and even brain swelling. Mount Everest's climbing industry has become controversial and as popularity of the climb has increased, there have been more traffic jams, as climbers spend too much time in the death zone waiting for their chance to go to the summit. With more people has also come more pollution up near the summit as climbers often discard unwanted items all along the mountain. Additionally, the Sherpa people have been exploited by climbers, and their traditional way of life has been disrupted by foreign climbers. Most disturbingly, because many climbers have died along the way, and their bodies are impossible to retrieve, climbers must frequently travel past corpses as they make their way up the mountain. At 29,032 feet, Everest summit has approximately one-third the air pressure that exists at sea level, which significantly reduces a climber's ability to breathe in enough oxygen. Because of this, scientists have determined that the human body is not capable of remaining indefinitely above 19,000 feet. As climbers move higher up the mountain and their oxygen intake is reduced, their bodies are increasingly at risk for a number of ailments, including pulmonary edema, cerebral edema, and blood embolisms. The chances of frostbite are also dramatically increased at such altitude as the heart works harder to pump blood around the body delivering oxygen and the life-giving organs are first priority digits are last. Mount Everest's popularity soared in the 1990s when international guides began to pioneer commercial trips up the mountain. Despite the risks, Everest draws hundreds of mountaineers from around the world to its slopes each year. In 2021, the Nepal Ministry of Tourism issued a record 408 Everest climbing permits, the highest in its history. More than 300 people are known to have died climbing Everest, according to the Himalayan database. The overall death rate, the number of fatalities divided by the overall number of people on the mountain, not just those who summit, is approximately 1.2%, meaning that if you try to climb Everest, you have about a 1 in a 100 chance of dying along the way. Dead bodies litter Mount Everest because it's so dangerous and expensive to get them down and 2023 could be the most deadly season yet.
It used to be thought that it would be physiologically impossible to climb Mount Everest with or without oxygen. In 1953, Hillary and Tenzing proved that it was possible to reach the summit with oxygen and in 1978, Messner and Habeler demonstrated it was possible without oxygen. Although Everest has not changed, we now have a better understanding of acclimatization, improved climbing equipment, and established routes with fixed lines guiding climbers up to the summit and for those climbing with oxygen, the cylinders are much lighter. It would therefore seem logical that climbing Everest might have become an altogether less deadly activity. However, this year the unofficial body count on Mount Everest has reached 15, the most since the disaster of 1996 when 16 people died, eight in one night following an unexpected storm. An analysis of the death rate on Mount Everest between 1980 and 2002 found it had not changed over the years, with about one death for every 10 successful ascents. A sobering statistic for anyone who reaches the summit is that you have approximately a 1 in 20 chance of not making it down again. The main reasons for people dying while climbing Mount Everest are injuries and exhaustion however. There is also a large proportion of climbers who die from altitude-related illness, specifically from high-altitude cerebral edema and high-altitude pulmonary edema. Usually the cause of death is confirmed by a fellow climber and therefore not entirely accurate, and it is likely that altitude illness may also have contributed to deaths attributed to injuries and exhaustion. Some people believe that part of the reason for the increase in deaths is the number of inexperienced climbers, who pay large sums of money to ascend Everest. However, all the climbers whom I know of who died this year had 8,000 meters climbing experience and climbers are not climbing beyond their ability but instead beyond their altitude ability. Unfortunately, it is difficult to get experience of what it is like climbing above Camp 3, 8,300 meters, without climbing Everest.